Welcome back to Stats and Packs for Monday, January 10th of 2022. We have added in Bowman Platinum in place of 2021 Bowman. And what we're going to do, since we might not be doing this much on Fridays, we don't know come, going forward, but what we're going to do is if we do get number one or number four, since they have the higher number of packs, we're going to not roll the dice again and do another one. But if we get any of the other boxes, since they're small packs, we're going to roll the dice and do two of them, two of random stuff. So that is our plan for now. I am going to roll the dice on the first one. And we got a six, so we'll do this first one six times. All right, we have a seven. We're going to do an Allen and Ginter. We're going to pull one out. What we're going to do is roll the dice again. And we got a number four. Just gonna pull one of these at random here. Another seven. Okay, we're gonna do two of these. All right. So we got two sets. Pull two numbers out, and we'll do two Allen and Ginters today. That's what's gonna happen. What two numbers do we want? Three and eight. Show them the numbers on the screen. All right, three and eight. We got eight, and we got three. All right. All right. Open the first one, and let's go. These ones are. These are okay to do two of them because they got all the weirdo cards and different stuff that don't really pertain to baseball or anything else. Lou Brock. Yep, Let, Lou Brock. Let's just see what kind of stats he had over his Hall of Fame career. 10,332 at bats, 3,023 hits, 149 home runs, 1,610 runs. 900 RBIs, 938 stolen bases with a 293 average. And all those numbers speak for themselves, so yes. Andres Jimenez, rookie card. Hey, there you go. See if he was any good this year. Uh, all right. Thinking he had limited production this year. 188 at bats, 23 runs, 41 hits, 5 home runs, 16 RBIs, 11 stolen bases with the 218 average. Any good, really? Yeah. Nah, 218, not really. that's not too good, but not really. he had limited 188 at bats. I don't know how, you know, he was in how many games. I don't know how that was, but all right, next one. Nick Castellanos. He started off the season really hot, batting really well and all that other stuff. Kind of slowed off, slowed towards the second half, so. 531 at bats, 95 runs, 164 hits, 34 home runs, 100 RBIs, 3 stone bases with a good 309 average. Yes, he had a great year and a good year for the, we're going to put him up there since he had a really good year. Mike Lange. Okay, and we'll just put this up there if people want to pause the video and read about him. Hockey announcer. Tulip and, tree. Yep, an arboral card. And if you want to do that same thing there, you can pause the video on that one. Tom Seaver. Hall of Famer, Tom Seaver. And yes, he has some good stats here. 311 wins, 205 losses, 2.86 year raise, 656 games, 647 games started, 4,783 innings pitched with 3,640 strikeouts and one save. Yeah, that's really good. Three, 300 is the magic number. Like, if you can get to 300 wins, you're automatic Hall of Famer. But people think that that'll never happen again. So if you want to comment on that and see if you think, say if you think it will or not, then let me know in the comments below. And now on to the last pack. We will get some really cool stuff here. This product always eludes us. We never have got really gotten anything too terribly exciting out of Allen and Ginter. Another Hall of Famer. Ernie Banks.
All right. 9,421 at bats, 1,305 runs, 2,583 hits, 512 home runs, 1,636 RBIs, 50 stolen bases with a 274 average. Yeah, let's see. What does it say about these people on the back? You can, it just gives them all the stats, but it writes them out instead of having just the numbers. So there you go. Ernie Banks Hall of Famer. So we've had three Hall of Famers. Will Craig, rookie card. All right, Will Craig. I was hoping we'd get two different packs, but it just so happened that that's what went on. All right. 60 at bats, five runs, 13 hits, one home run, three RBIs, no stone bases with a 217 average. Not good. So he had some limited time in 2020. He had the 203, he had four at bats in 2020. You know, 203 average, no... Yeah. So, he needs to be down in the minors. He's trying to get his way back up there. Not too good. Ryan Mounts Castle, Ricky card. So far, I'm going to have to say that is our best card. Jury's still out to see if he's going to be a superstar or not. All right. 534 at bat, 77 runs, 136 hits. 33 home runs, 89 RBIs, 4 stone bases with a 255 average. 33 home runs is really good for a rookie, in my opinion. Not like Pete Alonso did back in 2019, but yeah, really cool. Put that right there. Who's that person? Todd Helton. Todd Helton. Yes. He, in my mind, should be a Hall of Famer. I have no doubt. Mr. Hits a lot of doubles. He had so many of those in his career. 7,962 at bats, 1,401 runs, 2,519 hits, 369 home runs, 1,406 RBIs, 30 cents on bases with a good 316 average. He, that average is awesome, but look, that doesn't have anything on back, but it's a, looks like it's an Allen and Ginter back. That's a really good card there. Todd Helton, yeah, 316 lifetime average, yeah, he did it at Coors Field, but... Come on. Still good. Lots of doubles in his career. All sorts of good stuff. So, Ken Griffey Jr. What kind of car? Oh, historical hits. Uh, we know the kid. Ken Griffey Jr. Hall of Famer, of course. Let's show him the back of that card. See what it says. And they can pause and read it if they would like to. 600 home runs is what it talks about. Give him all the stats and rundowns from his, his career. 9,801 at bats, 1,662 runs, 2,781 hits, 630 home runs, 1,836 RBIs, 184 stolen bases with a 284 average. Yeah, so everything he, he was the person you wanted to collect in the 90s and even in the 2000s because he was the hot commodity. The 90, uh, what was it, 89 upper deck. Ken Griffey Jr. card, still iconic to this day. Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. There you go, right there. He's been around since, what, 2013 with stats here, I guess? Cleveland Guardians now. 552 at bats, 111 runs, 147 hits, 36 home runs, 103 RBIs, 27 stolen bases with a 266 average. Yeah, 266 isn't that bad. One thing I want to comment on is on the new cards for the Cleveland Indians, is it still going to say the Indians on there or is it going to be the Guardians with the Indians uniforms? Because if they take pictures from last season and put them on here, it'll still have the Indians uniforms or they're going to do stuff you know, throughout the year and take pictures of them in their new Guardians uniforms. That is yet to be seen. So that'll be an interesting thing to look at on uh, baseball cards this year uh, with tops and their other products. But that is our stats and packs for Monday. And we'll be back on Wednesday with more opening day Wednesday. Have a great day.